Welcome to BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli. I'm your host. Welcome to this channel about private aviation. Today's episode, we've got some interesting information for you. We're going to be talking about what's happening with private jet travel. Um, then we're going to look at some events about private jets. Then we're going to talk about Tony Blair and his use of private jets. It's going to be interesting for you to hear for that and how people's mindsets ch can change and how we're going to see a lot of more uh, more changes in the future more people flocking to private jet travel so that's enough from me if you haven't subscribed to visit tv encourage you to subscribe but let's get straight into today's episode off we go What's happening in the private jet world? The first piece of news is that global business aviation flying is up now and it's 70% of what it normally is this time of the year, according to Wing X. Uh, most of the movements that are happening globally are by the owners of the private jets. They're flying their jets, uh, which is good. The charter market is slowly starting to come back, uh, which is good to see the private jets back up in the air and flying as the lockdown is being ended around the globe. Um, next piece of news, two events have been cancelled, the Air Charter Expo, which is due to happen in September, Biggin Hill Airport near London, that's been cancelled, and NBAA, which was due to happen in uh, um, October this year in Orlando, Florida has been cancelled, that's one of the best, not the biggest private jet event in the world, um, that's been cancelled following on uh, eBase, which was cancelled back in um, May, eBase is the equivalent of the NBA, which happens over in Europe every year. So those two conferences have been cancelled. Now, the National Air Transport Association of the United States have issued um, some guidelines called Safety First Clean, which is all about uh, disinfecting and cleaning the private jets inside, make sure that the environment is clean and virus free. Uh, Millionaire, the chain, uh, FBO chain, has pioneered this um, and, uh, you know, I run with this all throughout the Millionaire uh, FBO chain so if you are flying into an airport with a millionaire FBO they do offer this service to clean the aircraft also millionaire just received a prize uh, uh, given by Pro Pilot magazine it's a survey that they do and they've been voted the number one large chain FBO in the world so congratulations to Roger Wolsey over at Millionaire and his team of great people so that's interesting now um, as you know we've had this virus thing hit the world and lots of things happening in the private jet world. I've said this before, uh, with just three and a half percent of the ultra high net worth individuals actually own a private jet, which creates about 20,000 jets in the world. That number is due to grow um, because people's mindset can change. Some people can be very negative towards private jets and then suddenly they change their minds. And so I'd like to come in and show you now an interview I did a few years ago on a documentary about former Prime, UK Prime Minister Tony Blair and about his usage of private jets. It's just gonna have a look to see what I said uh, in that documentary. Off we go. Tony Blair left number 10 on a civil servant's pension of 64,000 pounds a year. He's also entitled to 84 grand in annual administration expenses. Since then, he's apparently made a mint and has a lifestyle many would envy. Although politicians, and particularly prime ministers, earn far more than the average person in this country, they spend their entire days mixing with people who earn far, 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 far more than them, many, many zeros more than them. They're with people who've got private jets, who run multi-billion pound businesses. If Blair wanted that life, he needed to be prepared for the price tag. I think Tony Blair now believes staying in five-star hotels, travelling first class on flights, chauffeur-driven cars, big houses, lavish dinners when you want them, having tens of millions of pounds in the bank, it's just what everybody has. In 2012, an analysis by the Sunday Telegraph of Tony Blair's travel showed that in a 12-month period, Blair made 61 overseas trips totaling almost 224,000 miles, the equivalent of flying to the moon. Tony Blair obviously is doing a business internationally and across continents, uh, so he will be needing an aircraft that can travel from, for example, London all the way down to Central Africa and then over to Dubai and over to Indonesia and back. Um, and you're away maybe for a week, 10 days. An aircraft like that, you're usually talking about eight to $9,000 an hour. You're probably clocking up maybe 25, 30 hours flying. 
Fabrizio Polli is used to dealing with the jet set and business leaders. He understands the trappings of wealth and power and the lifestyle money can buy. Well, private jet for certain types of people is a very, very convenient way of traveling today because you can basically leave when you want um, so you're not depending on the schedule of the airlines and having to also get to the airport three hours before. The other beauty of the private jet is you can get to the airport 15 minutes before. You can also leave from many, uh, fly out of and into a lot of secondary airports. Private jets are how the global rich travel. They're bespoke aircrafts, the height of luxury. When you book a flight on a private jet, catering is an important element of the flight. So what will happen is you'll, you'll be asked, what would you like? And our cabin attendant would make sure everything's served up nicely. And you'd obviously get the food from the best restaurants or the best catering companies, and, and you'd have really first-class food on board. And some airplanes even have their own chefs. And if you're part of this world, privacy is key. If you are a world top business person or celebrity, flying private allows you to turn up at an airport like this um, get, on the, get out the car, onto the plane, nobody sees you, nobody knows who you are, nobody knows where you're going, and it's very quiet and private. When Mr Blair travels, for example, I should imagine he's got all his entourage with him, so they can have a meeting on the plane while they're travelling, and nobody that shouldn't be listening isn't listening. Now, the reason I wanted you to see that clip is just for you to realise that even a leftist socialist politician like Tony Blair once he was out of office and he transited into the business world, okay, he realized that the private jet is a business tool. So let's just put politics to one side here. It is a business tool. It doesn't matter what your philosophy is, whether you're a leftist, a right wing, whether you're Democrat, whether you're Republican, whether you like Labour or Conservative or whatever it may be. You know, the fact is that the private jet is a business tool. Now, is it for everybody? Of course it's not, because, you know, otherwise everybody would travel by private jet. Is it going to be cheap? Is it going to get cheaper? No, it's not. Um, but, you know, as, you know, the, the I said previously in other episodes here of BizJet TV, there are about 513,000 ultra high net worth individuals in the world, only three and a half percent own private jets. Now, that number is going to increase. Maybe you are one of those people watching this, trying to figure out if this really is something for you. Um, well, this channel is exactly uh, being created for that reason, to educate you about private jet uh, usage and how, how what it's like to have a private jet, etc, uh, etc. Et if you want a private consultation with me, you can ping me an email and we'll get you scheduled in for a, for a call. And if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and also check out the other content that we have here. I'm sure you'll find something interesting. Check out this video here about the Global 7500, very interesting airplane made by Bombardier, which gives you an idea of what the cabins are like on these private jets. And give us a thumbs up and please comment below. We'd love to hear from you, hear your comments and uh, interact with you. And uh, that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV and I'll see you on the next one.